Nature in its pristine state is an environment of raw beauty and grandeur. Words are not enough to describe its wonders and even its mysteries. Men have been moved to write poems and stories about its magnificence. We have been inspired to immortalize it in our songs and folklores. We have sung praises to God for creating it, our source of inspirations and perspirations, with us being dependent on it. Who among us do not enjoy the cool shade of trees, the quiet rustling of their leaves whispering us to rest? We all see the beauty of the seashore as it is lapped upon by waves, or hear the silent flow of rivers that might flood yet give life to our parched land. Who among us do not appreciate the language of birds and animals they communicate among themselves? We look with awe at the variety of life in the seas. Who among us are not overwhelmed by the sight of towering mountains and valleys of forest teeming with life? Deep in our prayers, did we bother to whisper a thing to God about them, our cares and vows to preserve them for others yet to see their wonder? The Earth's climate is changing. Much has been attributed to how we are going to use with abuse our natural resources. And nature is bouncing back. We have experienced some of its abnormalities unheard of before. Too much and too little of rain, too warm and too cool temperatures, and too many destructive typhoons. La Nina and El Nino come to mind. These have made us vulnerable to their harmful effects. That or poor living states. Yet, we are aware that we are causing them to happen. Could we save Mother Earth? Or let Father Time Give us wisdom before it is too late. We are the generation that should answer our environment's suffering. The Department of Education have implemented an order with the YASO in the forefront of all its plans and activities. This year's YASO Comp team, Sagip Kalikasan Sagip Buhay, surprisingly has long been mobilized in our school through a program leading to disaster management. The creation of the DDNNHS Forest Park is our contribution to heal our nature. Past devastations left by typhoons like Kyoyong and Paeng may be a distant memory, yet the pain of losing valuables and the sacrifices of the building from nothing haunts us. Reconstruction was painstaking, yet something was added. Our intensive and sustained tree planting, growing and caring program was started with the organization on F SFP Task Force. It was January 2009. It was followed up with the identification and preparation of certain areas in our campus to be places where tree seedlings will be planted. All the students were united in their missions as they cleaned up the planting sites. Teachers and staff were in high spirits as they helped in the same manner. Planting have commenced. Mahogany, Jimelina, Nara, and other seedlings propagated long before are now ready for planting. The Student Forest Park Task Force facilitated the tree planting schedule with the assistance of their TLE teachers. All move hand in hand to plant the beginnings of a forest park. Community hands voluntarily came and installed tree guards to protect the plants. We have in mind that we cannot prevent the perennial floods water as they originate upstream. We could at least manage the disaster that will come with it. Our forest park could at least produce the vital oxygen that we breathe and absorb the carbon dioxide that pollutes and warms the atmosphere. Our school did not stop here. 
We have come up with a long-term plan that mobilized all our stakeholders to participate in our program. Kiosks were put up in the forest park with the help of the PTA and barangay officials. Fences were installed to protect the park from harm. The conduct of lectures and convocations to us students on the environment had begun and will last until January 2014. It will be offered to the general public later on. We also envision the construction of a conference hall, a mini zoological park, and a fish pond until June 2015. The school, through the initiative of its YESO chapter, is strongly committed to these massive undertakings. Our trees are growing up. Our expectations grow up with them with our plan of action to guide us by. Many years from now, our school will not just be a center for learning the skills for economic reason alone. It will stand up for lifelong learning centered on environmental awareness and preservation. This school forest park will be a testament to that. Visitors and students will marvel at what we have started. They are now prepared to sustain and continue the task at hand. Years into the future, this forest park will have grown into an ecosystem of its own. Global warming will be a distant memory. The world's climate will have changed for the better. Forest parks as this will have multiplied. We succeeded healing Mother Earth. This is Norbert Simbanan. And this is Chelsea Fragata. DDN and HS Documentary. May kantang litarima anta Laita pana kan laita ika Tain taaganu itiyuksa Barbaneng nagdapay natin Yeah.